Hello and welcome to part two of coil building. My name is Chris and with me today as always is my co-host. Well, we need Anna. to start that over. We're not coil building, we're slab building. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, this is terrible. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome to week two of slab building. My name is Chris and with me as always is my co-host. Anna! Today we are going to continue working on Anna's slab built box shape that she started last week. It has stiffened up very nicely and is ready for the next step. Today we are going to add the top onto it and then we are going to cut off the lid part. So step one of adding the top, we need another slab, just a small one, it doesn't need to be very big at all, it just needs to be able to cover the top and be a little bit bigger and we'll shave off the excess. So we have a piece of clay here. As always, we're gonna flatten it out. Anna, why don't you work on flattening it out? We'll get into a nice round ball and then go ahead and flatten it out. Great, now you can use the rolling pin and make sure it's in a nice circle. Move your slab around. You don't have to do too much at once. Make sure it's nice and even, take your time. Wonderful. Now check to see if it will cover the top of the pot. It certainly does, that's a perfect size slab. So what we could do is we could place this here flat on top, just like this, Anna, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's very interesting. I think it's a little more interesting if it has kind of a sloped up shape, kind of like a roof or something. So what I, we are going to do first in order to achieve that is instead of having this rim flat, we are going to make it kind of have a sloped angle. So Anna, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paddle and you're just gently going to paddle this kind of straight down and at this 45 degree angle. I hope that the viewers at home can see that. So we're just going to go around like this. And try not to, see how I kind of distorted it a little bit and flat, flattened that out, um, flattened the shape out? We don't want to push it in like that. So we want to go straight down and angle this. So Anna, why don't you go ahead and try that? Looking pretty good. You can also do it by taking it like this and angling it that way, so try that. Okay, great. So now, rather than having a perfectly flat top, you see it angles up a little bit right here. And it has some excess clay around here, which we'll remove later in the refining part of this. So the next thing we're going to do is take our slab and we're gonna place it on the wheel here or on your canvas board and we are going to put it put the pot on top of it just like that then we're going to use our needle tool or our kitchen knife and you're going to cut around this now when you cut around it leave a little bit of overhang and some excess clay that way we can smear that on there really good and not be kind of short on clay so go ahead and try that and remember when you cut, you wanna cut straight down, you hold it like a pencil. Perfect. Okay, now remove that excess clay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'll show the viewers, you can see she's cut this off. She has a little bit of excess clay on the sides. And now what we can do is we can start to rough this up here where we're going to attach. So the attachments points are gonna be all along here and then a little bit on the outside and then along the outside of the slab right here. So we'll go ahead and rough it up. Wonderful. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of water to the rim and we'll start to attach this. Mm 
Now, Anna, what we can do is we can place this on top here and we can go around and push it down and push it on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your smearing tool or your fork, end of your fork, and you're gonna smear this on here. So go ahead and push it down and then start smearing it on there. Wonderful, she got it smeared on there, so now she has the top on. Now you can see it's really rough looking, which Anna, you were a little concerned about that, but just like the coil building that we did, we're gonna do a lot of refining on this. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to go use the paddle. And so Anna, see how this is just perfectly flat and our angle that we had on the lid is now gone. Remember we angled the rim right here? So now what we're gonna do, and this will help attach it, is we're gonna gently go around here and add our angle back in there, that 45 degree angle. Now it's gonna be flat here, but we will later raise that up to match this slope here. So go ahead and try that. Okay, now we have all this extra, extra clay on the outside that has kind of worked its way down and we can just remove that. We can take our rib here, Anna, and we can just gently scrape that away. So easy that scrapes away. So why don't you do that? Now she's got that excess removed. So maybe what we'll do now is we'll go back in one more time and just gently kind of paddle this like that. Just to get our angle and our slope right back. Because each time you remove clay, it kind of messes up that angle and flattens it out again. Okay, so now you can see we have a kind of a nice little start of a domed lid there. So now what we're going to do, Anna, is we are going to refine the entire body of the piece. And this is just like with coil building. You're gonna take your, you're going to take your rib and you're just going to refine like so. But before we do that, if you look, see on the outside, on the bottom here, folks, how it kind of jets out and sweeps out at the bottom? We can fix that really easily by just taking our wooden knife and placing it straight down. You can also use your needle tool. Maybe the needle tool is a little easier. And cutting away this so it's flat. See how I'm doing that, Anna? Mm -hmm. So why don't you do that all the way around on any part. See, right, like right here, it kind of juts out. Go ahead and remove that. Maybe hold the tool lower, more like a pencil. Now you can take your rib tool and just like you did on your coil pot, you can start to refine this shape. Just go ahead and start scraping away, just like so and trying to make the form nice and even all the way up and down the entire form. So Anna, maybe spend 10 minutes doing that, and then we'll be ready to cut the lid off. Okay, so Anna has finished refining this box shape, and it looks really, really good. So now we're ready to cut off the, the lid. I'm going to hold this needle tool really steady, right about maybe a third of the way down. And I'm gonna draw a line all the way around while Anna spins it. So now we have a line all the way around it. The key to getting that line to match up from where you started and where you ended so it's the same height is the person holding the needle tool needs to be really steady and not move their hand at all. 
So I would hold it just like this, and Anna moved it around, and my hand did not move at all. And it was Anna's job to make sure the needle tool was touching the pot. So that's important. So I'm going to try to cut this off now. I'm going to use this wheel, but you can do it by hand. And I'm going to stick the needle tool in and gently go around the entire pot. And I'm holding my tool right along that line there. And I'm not trying to cut it through all at once. I'll probably make several rotations. <laughs> Since this pot is hand built and not wheel thrown, it's not perfectly round. So it's important for you to mark, make a mark on the lid. I'm just going to make this little line here and then another line below it. And I know that that is the point where the lid and the pot are going to line up. So I made that little mark there. So now Anna, what we can do is we can start working on our lid a little bit. We need to smear this seam together right here. So Anna, you're going to take your wooden tool and without trying to, dis without distorting the rim, I need you to go around and just like you did on the bottom and smear this on here. Now what we are going to do is we're going to shape the top a little bit. It's kind of flattened out. So Anna, what I like to do is I like to take my thumb and I just push it up like this. And I just kind of go around and I just kind of pinch it and push it out without ruining the seam or making it pull apart. And you see how that raises that up a little bit? Mm -hmm. So Anna, why don't you try to get that to a nice round curve? pots that I've seen that tops look kind of like this, there's usually kind of like a little, um, knob? Yeah, knob on the top. Are we going to put one of those on? Yeah. It, absolutely. Well, if you want one, we will absolutely, you this one? is your pot. You want one. Okay. We will add a knob next week. Okay. Now flip it over and see if it looks kind of even. It looks pretty even to me. It's a nice round top. I'm going to push up the very center just a little bit. And then what we're going to do, Anna, is we're going to line this up. We have our mark. Sometimes the mark, sometimes the mark gets a little bit erased, so we want to always make sure that we put those marks back. Where is it? Right there. We're going to line up those marks there. And we can push the clay around. I'm going to go around and I'm barely tapping this. And see how I'm trying to make it nice and even and kind of a sloped up curve and get rid of any bumps. Mm -hmm. So go around and do that and might, so you might have to kind of get eye level and do that. So very nice. Just gently, the clay is very soft at this point. And we're going all the way so you hit the whole half circle. Let's look at it. Oh, look at that. It's looking really, really nice. So that is it for today. So join us next week where we will finish this pot off. Anna would like to add a little knob to the lid. We will do that. And then we will also make what we call a little inset. We'll take a slab of clay and put it all around the inside so that when you stick the lid on here, it holds on there and doesn't just slide right off. So until next time, we will see you then. Thank you again. Have a great day.